Hello and welcome back to Sales Funnels Made Easy. Today I'm gonna to show you how to quickly and easily add a domain that you purchased over on GoDaddy to ClickFunnels. So make sure that you keep it locked in so that I show you step by step. Also make sure that you like, subscribe, ring the bell notification so that you're notified when I upload a brand new tutorial. And if you're brand new to ClickFunnels, I do have a two week free trial and a more extensive coaching course on ClickFunnels and you'll get 20 free funnels for your using. So if you're brand new, click that first link in the description to get a two week free trial and a number of funnels and more extensive coaching. So here I am at the back office of GoDaddy. If your GoDaddy looks a little bit different, click on the GoDaddy logo here and it should take you to something that looks like this. What we're gonna do is we're gonna find the domain name that we wanna change, click on manage my domain. And while that loads, we're just gonna scroll all the way down to the bottom and then where it says manage DNS. Once you click on that, this is where you're going to make a few changes in order to um, get your domain name pointed to ClickFunnels. What we're looking for, it says CNAME, www, and then the at symbol. We're simply going to click on this button here and we need to change where this points to. So once you click the pencil, you're just going to delete this and you're going to type in target.clickfunnels.com and you're going to click save. So that's the first thing. You need to do one other thing in this screen and then we're going to jump over to ClickFunnels. That we need to take is to go down to where it says forwarding, click add here, change this to HTTPS. We're gonna scroll back up and we're going to copy the name of the domain or that the name of the domain that we wanna change. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna scroll back down here and we're gonna type in www, whoops, we're gonna type in www dot and then paste in the domain name and then we're going to click save. Why this is important is anytime someone types in the name of your domain with or without the www, they're automatically gonna get forwarded over to the HTTPS version, which is important if you are planning on taking payment. So that is step one. Step two is to jump over to ClickFunnels and take care of the back office on that side. So now that I'm back in ClickFunnels, we just need to add in our new domain so that when people go to our website uh, that we purchased from GoDaddy, it takes us to our landing page, our sales page, whatever it is. So we're just gonna click on account settings in the top right hand corner, go down to where it says domains, and then we are going to click on the right hand side, add new domain. Now on the left hand side, it says register a new domain. So this is where you would buy a domain from ClickFunnels. We already have a domain. So we're gonna click on use an existing domain. And what we need to do is we need to go up and grab our domain that we just purchased from GoDaddy. So I'm just going to copy this right here, and I am going to paste that in here. And then because we're using GoDaddy, we're not uh, registered on Cloudflare, so we're just gonna click on add domain. So we've already taken care of this step. Uh, we did this step at the back office of GoDaddy. So we can just click on I've done this step. The next step is to associate a funnel. If you don't have an, a funnel to associate with, you can skip it. As you can say, just show me my domains. Um, but since I have a funnel, hopefully I can find it really quick. I'm going to click on this right here and then click on associate funnel. Then it's going to take us, as you can see here at the bottom, it has our most recent domain that we just added. What we need to do is click the three dots on the right hand side and we need to click on edit. What we wanna do is we wanna add the SSL certificate. Again, that's gonna be pretty important. So I'm just gonna click on under the SSL certificate, click on expand, and then click on add SSL. Now this takes probably 15 minutes. And so it's saving and working. What we can do is we can go back. And um, if we go back to domains, as you can see, it's working at the top green here. If we just click refresh, you can see the domain will take just a little while but you'll get a green um, success sign once it's once it's connected. So if we go back over here and we hover over this lock button, it says domain has not been secured. Go to domain settings to set up SSL for certification. So we can go back over to edit just to see again. Uh, if we click on SSL, whoops, you can see we are still working on enabling it. We can click check now. Usually it takes 15 or 20 minutes for it to show up. Um, it says success, it actually says that it was connected. So if we go to this website, it should point towards our landing page that is in progress. 
let's see, let's verify the default page here, the arrow 404, let's verify this real quick. Uh, so we wanna save that. What we need to do, one step that we need to make is we need to go to, uh, we need to go to funnels. I'm going to add this to this funnel right here. Go over to settings, and then I want to, it says that it's associated. So if we click on refresh, click on advance, we're gonna proceed to it anyway. It says it's unsafe, but this is exactly where we wanna go. This is a funnel that we're working on. As you can see, it worked. Um, if we go back over to click funnels and I go to VSL page and I click preview that way, we know that it works because it is the exact same page here. So as you can see, exact same page, we got it to work. So be sure to like, subscribe, ring the bell notification so that you're notified when I upload a brand new tutorial on sales funnels. This is sales funnels made easy. Thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow.